<clears throat> All right, YouTube. Today we are going to go back and play some Death Shadow. Back to what we are looking to do here. <clears throat> Four bottles, one day. So um, I'm playing 74 of the 75 decks that, or 74 of the 75 cards that Brandon Dalloway played at SEG Baltimore. <clears throat> he moved the deck to be uh, to be a little better against spell based combo decks. There's four Stubborn Denials in the main deck. There's a full four Thought Scours and a Faith of Saluting to help you power out your Gurmag Anglers. So it's just a little faster, and it's down to down one Lightning Bolt. So it's a little... Um, it's just a little faster. It's supposed to kind of turbo out the Gurmag Anglers a little better here while keeping... while being good against uh, the spell combo decks. Cyborg's kind of the same. The one card that I cut is I cut a Lava Mancer for a Ceremonious Rejection. I think Tron's in a pretty good spot right now. I think the two decks that I think are good are that are kind of underrepresented right now are Tron and um, Tron and Humans. I think Humans is good if it can figure out how to handle um, the the Phoenix matchup, but it's just it's I guess it's just not doing that quite yet. And maybe it can't. I'm not sure. But so I decided to just cut a Grim Lava Mancer for rejection to be able to fight Tron a little bit more. Um, besides that, we got Triple Surgical, the Colagon's Commands, Liliana. We have two Collective Brutalities because the burn's been lighting them up. So this is what we're going to start with. And then we're going to do a different Shadow deck that I've been thinking about lately. So let's jump into a Modern League. Start with this one. Oh wow, that was quick. That was very quick. All right. This hand is not that good. We've got a ley line, a serum visions to dig. Street Wraith and Looting. I think I'm going to keep his hand. It's kind of tough to mulligan a hand with like this much look dig on the play. When we don't know what we're doing, what we're playing against. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to cycle my Wraith on one. His hand's like on the lower end here. It's not that great. But if we find a Gurmag Angler, it's pretty solid. All right. Let's just Serum Visions on turn one. I just like doing this. I could have waited till next turn and just looting, which might have been better. Maybe that was better. Okay. Um, again, I don't really think... I think we're going to put this on the bottom and we're going to put this on top because if we don't find a threat, we're going to be able to snap Serum Visions on uh, turn two or turn three in order to find it. Play in the mirror. Yeah. All right, I'm playing against burn. So we got to find a Gurmag Angler or a Death Shadow quickly. We found neither. So let's ditch both of these. The good thing is we have Battle Rage, so if we find Shadow, there's a chance it's only going to take one shot to kill them. So our hand's definitely a little slow and getting a little punished here playing against a, a very aggressive deck that you can't have slow draws against. This is an idle on. I'm going to Thought Scour with it on the stack. All right, or I can get Boros Charmed. Huh. All right, let's go get an island. 
Oh, we milled over our island. Yeah, we did. Oh, we, we milled it over with our... Um, all right, let's play this tapped. Man, none of those are going to do it. My thought sees them. Right now, I basically... Like, I need to survive two turns. So I'm just going to thought seize them to break their curve up. Like, it's very likely we're dead. Like, they just go, like, untap, crack, crack. Like, we're super, we're likely super dead anyways. But... And there we go. I mean, we can take Spike and then be dead to Rift Bowl. Yeah, we're just dead. That was an unfortunate showing. All right. So I guess now the burns sped up a little bit. We cut these six. And this is what we bring in. Brutalities. A braid is good if they have the bridge. Like, this is for if they have the bridge plan. Slash the games also sometimes get a little slower after sideboard, so Colagon's command is good. Uh, the collective brutalities, obviously, there's you know enough to say about those, and then we've got another bolt. Just another way to kill kill a little dude. <clears throat> Would like to play first. So this is one of these hands that we just have to suck it up and keep. I think. Like we've got like this card's the nut in the matchup. We've got enough removal to stave off of little creatures. Like, pretty sure this is just what we've got to do here. All right, Goblin Guy's gonna give me another shot of land. I'm gonna let this go. The trigger resolves. So I would like to draw a land. I don't want to take land out of my deck. All right, and I don't want that. So let's go get a watery grave. And I will just push it. All right. So I think what we're going to do here, I kind of want to go brutality through two mode it, ditch the snapcaster mage. Because then I put. Five cards in the graveyard, and I can Gurmag Angler next turn. I think I'm just going to keep my life total super high. I could ditch the Bolt and keep the Snapcaster Mage, but I'm likely going to delve my entire graveyard. I'm definitely keeping the push and the Gurmag Angler. It's like Lightning Bolt or Snap, and it's probably Bolt. Because Bull also hits them. How's it going there, Flex Frequency? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to ditch the Snapcaster Mage. I always play a 5 5 Gurmag Angler. Whoa, my hands, my opponent's hands, not very good. Um, we're just going to take the Boros Charm. We only have one Skull Crack left in the deck. Or one uh, brutality, so just take the one that deals more damage. I was playing with Brandon played. Okay, so that's what they hit. So we actually just go push into uh, we can go push into Angler. So it doesn't matter which one we let go because of the, they're gonna have spells. So, and like they're, it's going to be two power anyway, so they can just bolt the Gurmag Angler. Might as well make them give me a land if they attack. No, I, I just played this list. All right, that's not bad. I'm going to kill this on my turn because of Spectacle. Like, I don't want to have to fetch shock on my opponent's turn. So. 
Because like even if I have to fetch shock to kill this, it's I still deal damage and they can make it to light up the stage is active. Okay, so they have they've got Skullcrack Air Mesa in their hand. <clears throat> All right, and Eidolon, that's okay. That's a great draw. This is a small tournament coming up. I was playing with anybody else, I don't know if yet. This is a tournament, so let's see how that goes. Yeah, the Liliana and the Veils are narrow. They are very good when they are good, but they are narrow. Okay, so I might have just messed up here because... Now, if my opponent hits a three mana, uh, if my opponent hits another three damage burn spell because I attacked, they just kill me because they either attack with their Eidolon and burn me, or they, uh, or if they attack with Eidolon and burn me, or they just like, if I take two to have a blocker, I'm at six. I'm just going to play this and hope. Oh, this is like a mess, a mess up that I made, but I probably should have. Played the shadow. Well, so now we just have to fade the top of their deck. Lightning bolt right here would be sweet. I know, it doesn't look like I did. Yep, and, and I messed this up here. I messed this up at some point, whether I took two off of this when I didn't need to. Or something like that, I think. Like, I shouldn't lose a game where I cast a Brutality and Escalate it. Like, that was, that was probably just my mistake. Somewhere along that line of play. Because, like, I could have held back the girl. Like, I shouldn't lose a game after Escalating a Brutality on two and playing a Gurmag Angler on three. So, like, I probably was too liberal at some point with my uh, Shocking. Fetching and Shocking. Yeah, Liliana the Veil is, like, really good in the mirror, and it's not very good anywhere else. That's just been since Jace and Bloodbraid Elf came to the format. It's just where it is. That was frustrating, because that was my fault. If I'd have been on the ball there, I would have I would have won that game. And maybe my, my first I put myself too far behind because my first hand was so bad that I just shouldn't have kept it. Um, exit, existential dread. Thank you very much for the follow. The opponent didn't want to play magic with us. <clears throat> oh, I like playing against burn. I think it's fun. I used to I used to dislike playing Burn until I played Shadow, and now I think it's very much fun. It's very fun. Come on, I want somebody to play against. I want somebody to play against. I want to try a list later. That doesn't play Lava Man. And um, I'm going to try cutting the Steam Vents for just a third Water Grave. Just because Steam Vents sucks. You just play it because you have to. Yes, it is. That is the plan. All right, we're going to keep this. I'm not going to cycle my Shadows. 
until the second turn. I don't want to get caught um, against something weird here. Pony Cup 7 as well. Watery Grave. Let's see. You. Okay. This is like a pod deck. Kind of want to take this bird. I'm going to take this bird. It slows them down so much. Then I'll figure out something to do later with the rest of their hand. All right, let's, we want to hit another black source. We did. Um, I'm going to hold this second street raid for now because we might hit like a serum visions and want to do something with it next turn. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take their, their three drop. It's going to get in the way of my death shadow. And also just like be an annoying attacker blocker. You hold them because they're much better with Street Wraith than uh, Serum Visions. And, like, I'm already using my mana each turn. Like, I don't need anything else. Like, my hand, my turn's already made. Just no matter what this card is, I'm going to go Black Source. That could be a problem. No matter what this card is, I'm going to go Black Source into Thoughtseize. Okay, so I can go Snapcaster, Thought Seize, this, this, or I can just play Gurmag Angler and force a Chump Block. Question is, do I have to go to four? Because they played Misty, so this is gone. I know three out of the four cards. I'm kind of, I'm just going to play Gurmag Angler. I mean, because I can like Snap, Thought Seize this prime speaker next turn and it's just like a lethal attack <clears throat> yeah lava man gonna be good here so I want everything that kills anyone probably this this, this. The brutalities are probably a little medium. Um, they're not really beating us down, so we can probably afford to keep these. I don't think they play any creature, any non-creature spells. I think they're literally just a pod deck. I guess they play Cord and Eldritch Evolution. I don't use Faithless Looting now that my deck's focused. Um... The only other thing that I could bring in is like these, some number of these, probably the brutalities. The brutalities are probably slow on the draw though. Yeah, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna submit it. Yeah, it's just like my, my turn's made no matter what, you know? Like there's no sense in, God, his hand kills everything and interacts, but I need to find a shadow. I'm gonna keep this hand because like my opponent Mulligan, we're on the draw, we have more looks at shadows. Like, it's a very good hand that we might have to just play a little passively. So I'm going to get a Blood Crypt in my first land. We didn't need to draw another one of those. Didn't bring his list uh, too long, man. It did, yeah. I just, I caught, we, I was talking with him about it, and like, Human just isn't all that great at the moment. So I cut one for a ceremony. I think Tron's good. I think Tron's good at the moment. So I just wanted another Tron card. Uh, we're just going to take this Magus of the Moon. We might be able to, to do, deal with this Bounding Crisis. No, it's it's okay. You're tw 23 minutes late. You you you, you missed the, the match you don't want to see anyways. We lost our first one. Jeez. I'm going to get a Swamp and Thought Seize them. And I'm just going to take this Conscripts. Mm. 
we have our basics, so. I don't really ever worry about holding race to draw bobbles, because, like, I try to think about drawing bobbles, because it's pretty awful. Like, you want that bobble in the first turn, and you don't really ever want to see it again. All right, come on. All right. Uh, I've been cutting another Tron card too, but I can get the one turn slow. It's a, it's a hard matchup. Like, you have all the right kind of disruption, but if any of those cards hit, it's just so bad. We're just going to kill this now. Like, I don't, I don't want to play, like, a derpy flash game with them and have them put pressure on my life total. Oh, they have a Misty. Excellent. X out of that. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. That gets back. Probably Mega Saloon, maybe? I don't know. Could be the Bounding... The bounding crisis, okay. So we'll yield until next end step. I'm gonna fetch a tap land. Hey, how's it going? All right. We need a shadow. If we find a shadow, we're in good shape. So they know they have Bounding Crisis X. I don't know their last card. <clears throat> How are you doing tonight, Dito? I'm, I'm tempted to just kill this right now. <clears throat> because of, like, Restoration Angel, but... We probably can't afford to do that. How, how can this deck play Magus the Moon? I'm not wild about just sitting here and getting nickeled and dying by the creature deck without a shadow. Just another day in paradise. Bird is the word. Okay, you can have that. So keep this fetch land around. They're doing my upkeep. Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage is just more removal, so we're just gonna wait here. How much? How much? Uh, what? Thirty-six Celsius. How much is that in Fahrenheit? I think I'm just gonna flash the Snapcaster Mage and then bolt this. Well, bolt hits Kiki Jiki. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go fetch shock, hit it. 98.6, that is hot. I want to kill this right now. So, I should have played a land. If I played a land, I wouldn't have this problem. Because I could just get this tapped if I want. Um, am I going to shock myself? Probably, it's my last. I don't have any more fetch lands. Also turns off my revolt. No, we're gonna use no. This is okay because we're using the push. Without air conditioner, is it humid? I hate the humidity so much. Tapped your bird. So now we play just this awkward staring contest. I mean, at least our opponents mo are flooding out. We're going to play our land this turn so that we can snap dismember. Hold the phone. All right, there's our boy. So the plan is snap dismember, team or battle rage. <clears throat> Mm. 
That is the game plan. Look at this deck playing Magus to the Moon. That is wild. Do you see these lands? Breeding Pool, Canopy, Stomping Ground, Steam Vents, alongside Flooded Strand. Oh, there's a basic. Swear to God, you path my shadow. Court of Calling. So this is the old cord for witness, get back witness, probably. Okay. Or cord for witness, get back like conscripts. <clears throat> All right, tap my shadow. I kind of want to just snap dismember this now. Yeah. I can just like let it hit me. Go to five and snap dismember to one. Okay. Land. Into bird, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is 16, don't even do anything. They can put at most three power in front of it with a dryad arbor if they have it, which is like would be odd. But that's 13, still gets over. Decks that cannot kill Death Shadow will struggle against Death Shadow. I'm gonna grab some to drink, grab some more water, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, join match. <clears throat> this hand is not that good. I think I'm going to keep it. Like, we've got discard, discard, dismember. We've, like, against all three. So... We need a threat, but we can interact against. All right. Second time we've gotten punished for keeping a slow hand game one. So maybe I should have mulliganed. Shadow. Uh, just literally all the veils, just, it's not that, like, it's really good in mirrors. But besides that, it's just not that great. Manamorphos. Okay. I kind of want to take this skewer of the critics. So this is the Arc Light Phoenix deck here. So I take skewer one, two, three. Yeah, I have to take skewer. Is that a skewer or gut shot? I have to let this go. But yeah, I'm gonna take the skewer of the critics. It's really good in the mirror. But that's just it's, it's, since like Blood Bright Elf and Jace got printed, like it's just the 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 decks the card's just not as good as it used to be, even in the fair decks. Soul Scar Mage. Got shot, you got it. <coughs> this Soul Scar Mage is kind of annoying. They only have two cards though. You need a Gurdad or a Shadow. We're kind of doing it. So let's play this. Uh, 
All right, there's Gerded. All right, so I can't cast it. What's likely going to end up happening on this turn is I am going to... I'm going to have to kill this Soul Scar Mage because the Soul Scar Mage could shrink my Angler. So I'm going to take four points here regardless. <clears throat> and then I'll reevaluate if I'm going to leave up Stubborn Denial or not. Yep. Not much. Not much. How are you? All right, I go to two. Uh, one, two, three. So, Plague Mag. And hope my opponent doesn't hit anything for the rest of the game. <clears throat> that was not the case. All right. We got ran over there. So let's look back here. So we're playing against the Phoenix deck. So we don't want these. I do think we want brutalities. <clears throat> There's a chance we want extractions. Bolt is probably good. Snapcaster Mage is probably too slow in this matchup. I could leave two in. I get I get worried about Shrine of Burning Rage out of the sideboard of this deck, but I think we're gonna leave two Snapcasters in. And that's how we're gonna do it. The Surgicals might be a little looser against this version of the deck because it's more aggressive. Like it's essentially a burn deck, but like I, I if I gotta be able to get the phoenixes out of there, yeah, we'll keep the sand. So we're gonna go fetch and well, I actually I'm just gonna shock myself because we might want red mana at some point. Sideboarding against this deck's a little a little more difficult than the other one. All right, yeah, we're just gonna take light up the stage. Like, my opponent gets to go looting, ditch a phoenix, but they need a lot more than that to get them going. So, and we can just deal with the phoenix here. Their hand's just kind of really slow without this light up. I might go get a tapped, like, blue red land. All right, they're just going to spike me. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get a tap, steam vents, and then just serum visions. All right, we want both of these. <clears throat> we want the shadow first. Because we, we can, like, manipulate the shadow with lightning bolt, surgical, to grow it out of any range of getting, getting hit. <clears throat> really glad. Uh, to catch you live again, especially because you're in shadow. I uh, probably watch 15 plus hours playing Slam the Deck. Yeah, that's cool, Jay. <coughs> Jay Baseball, I appreciate you for showing up. So the Archmite's probably going to go. We have the Surgical in case they go nuts. I actually finally just got my paper Surgicals Soul Scar Rage and Arclight Phoenix. Oh, wow, they don't have anything. All right, so we'll start here. Man, yeah, my next sore. We're going to take like a light up the stage or a probably just this Soul Scar Mage. Yeah, we just want to get rid of the creatures. Well, now we're going to take this, uh, we're going to take this gut shot because it's a free spell. And if they go to like. Gut shot my shadow. They have to pay mana to kill my shadow. 
if they want to do that. I guess I could have. I had the surgical. I, I could have finagled that better. I, that's, that was that was that was very loose to me. Yeah, that was stupid. Because like, I could have taken a card that actually mattered, and then like if they go like bolt my shadow, I go bolt myself. They go gut shot my shadow, then I go surgical. And I would have been like fine. Yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb, chat. One, two, three, four, five. So I think I'm just going to attack and then tap out and play Angler. And I'll probably leave like Lightning Bolt in my graveyard. That was loose of me to do it like that. I just could have taken a better card. Cause like the soul scar mage can be annoying because it can shrink my uh can shrink my shadows. Okay. Let him just let him go nuts here and then just surgical the phoenix. Bolt me. Skewer the critics me. Okay. Go to combat. I extract your phoenix. And then don't have another gut shot. The last card is Soul Scar Rage. Okay. Let's make sure we click this one so they're dead. Crack them for 17. All right. I think we're just going to keep it the same. Yeah, we could bring in like a, a like another Snapcaster, but like, I don't really see what that's doing. I should have looked through the, my opponent's deck to see if I, in a real tur in a tournament, I would have paid attention to that. I missed that right there because they were dead, but I should have, I should have paid attention through that. Oh, uh, we're going to mulligan. We're going to threat. We're going to make lands. We're going to mulligan again. We're going to keep that shadow. At least we're on the draw. Man, I have a sore neck. All right. That one is the least scary creature. And we can deal with it, which is nice. So let's see what they're drawing. Lightning bolt. Let's go get watery grave. I guess I could have gotten a could have gotten a swamp there. Arc like Phoenix. One, two, three, G's. Oh no, they can't put the Phoenix in the graveyard. That's okay. That's good. So we're just gonna take this light up the stage, I think. I definitely should have fetched the basic. I'm, I'm playing a little loosey goosey tonight. We're taking we're gonna take a bunch of damage here. <clears throat> yeah, I could bolt. Yeah, we've got two more lives. So let's see if that ends up mattering. It likely will. Yep, you got it. You're going to gut shot me too. Okay. So I go down to six. My opponent's out of cards. We're just going to hope there's a shadow on top of the deck, and then we're good. Now there's Gurmag Angler, which is the next best option. I'm just going to deal with this. And they don't really have anything else going on. We have to hope they don't hit a Phoenix or hit a like, Looting or something. <clears throat> I haven't seen. Yeah, I haven't played Brutality in a long time. All right, so we kind of have to keep this Fetch Light around to kill this Phoenix. Okay, well, that's nice. It'll put me to two if they hit a land this turn. But because we ha didn't hit a... Because uh, we didn't hit a fetch land that, kept, that could fetch black. So we're kind of hoping that we dodge a bullet here. But it's not really a bad... Like, they'd have to hit another Arclight Phoenix. Okay. <clears throat> Attack. I'm going to Serum Visions. 
Whoa. Okay, put this on the bottom, put this on top. And I don't think I'm going to cast this. We're just going to wait. Hopefully we can make it out of the turn with it. Okay, so here comes the Phoenix. So unfortunately, we're going to lose out on a Brutality, but we do get to gain a bunch of life. We get to gain two life. Is it worth having the second Brutality? Taking three. No, it can't be. We're just going to get our red source. It's going to be a Blood Crypt. And we'll push this. I don't have any idea what their last card could be. It could just be an Arclight Phoenix. I think it's an Arclight Phoenix. Yeah, so now we can't attack. We can't. We have to escalate next turn because we need to kill the Phoenix. That made sense it was their last card because they didn't do anything off of three mana. Um, it's good against Burn. It's pretty good against this aggressive Arclight Phoenix deck, and it's pretty good against Storm. Jeez. That was quite the hit. So now, how do I win? So if I ditch two cards, I put six cards in the graveyard, so it starts by attacking. And then we just... Uh... Just to just a double escalate, probably. Okay, they block. So now, now I gotta escalate. Escalate two modes. We have to escalate two modes because I need to be able to put two cards in the graveyard to, because uh, <clears throat> if I put two cards in the graveyard, then I can delve Gurmag Angler. So let's just go like this. Oh, gross. So what if I hit, what if I take their Faithless Looting? If I take their Faithless Looting, they draw a three mana burn spell, they kill me. If I take Lightning Bolt, they can loot, and then they can loot again. This is just pure math, right? Because taking Faithless Looting makes it so that they have to hit a free spell to return the Phoenixes. Taking Lightning Bolt means they have to hit two spells to return the Phoenixes. When the Faithless Looting provides four mana on its own, My gut says take looting. Cause they just see less cards and if they hit a if they hit a burn spell. Because like if they if they flash back looting and they hit double lightning bolt, but they don't hit another land, then yeah, I'm just gonna take this looting. Yeah, and it's just like They're not even dead because they're, they're dead if they go for it and they have to ditch a uh, Swiss Spear. Okay. They ditch Swift Spear, Soul Scar Mage. Do you, do you hit me with a gut shot? God, you bastard. Ugh. Man, we made it close for a mulligan to five. But alas, it was not in the cards, unfortunately. I wonder if it's right to do that through the map. If 
would have taken Faithless Looting. If we take Lightning Bolt, they would have just returned their Phoenixes, yeah. So, like, Faithless Looting gives them less looks to kill us <clears throat> with Burn. Um, and to return the, the, um, the Phoenixes. Leaving them the Lightning Bolt means they only need one more card to kill us. But it's got to kind of be specific. But, I don't know. I wonder if it's right or not. <clears throat> That's a tough one. How's it going, Teddy? Yeah, that is a tough one. We're getting punished for keeping two slow hands in game one tonight. Darth Kid. It's a cool name. Yeah, this hand is uh, sweet. I'm going to draw our opponent mulligan to five. Yes. Dude, it was. I enjoyed doing it. That's dead. Oh, wow. Playing is strong. All right, it's not dead. Okay. So we're like 100% using, I'm going to cycle my Street Wraith now because like next turn, we're just going double shadow. So like our, our man is spoken for, for the next two turns. I just want information. Yeah, we'll just get rid of this. We play two three threes. They're five fives. We crack, crack, turn four kill. Yes, forest forest map is is rough. That is rough for the Tron team. I'm gonna go get a watery grave. Well, they, they might play a they might draw ghost quarter. Yeah, they're super dead. Oblivion stone. Well, we're gonna be able to race that. Watch them just go like land, pitch Simeon Spirit Guide, blow up the board. Yep. Got him. Okay. So these definitely come in. This comes in, this comes in. And that's all she wrote. Yeah. Submit. I could cut a lightning bolt for another color guns command, but then all of a sudden I've got five cards in my deck that cost three mana. And like, I don't really want that against a super aggressive deck. Oh yeah, it was right to play the Bloodstained Mire. I was just going through, going through the, the motions. I don't have a threat. I don't have a counter spell. I get to dig a lot. Like if I don't find a threat against a Tron Seven, that I'm not gonna win anyways. This card's basically gonna be a dud, I think, because we don't have a stub to snap back with it and the Karn Waller to be on the stack. So I'm going to ship this. All right. I'm going to keep this on six. It's not good because we have the two Snapcaster Mages, but. <clears throat> We're probably in a lot of trouble this game. All right. We hit our second land. Um, because they hit a star, I will cycle now to do that. Because likely they're going to go like crack star and go uh, whatever it is. Uh, the two mana card. If they're going to do that, then I'm just going to wait and stub it or thought scour. I don't know. I don't like keeping sevens without threats on the draw against Tron. 
with only one discard spell, like I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of doing that kind of stuff. Okay, so I think I'm gonna loot over the Thought Scour because I get to look at more cards. Alright, we didn't hit. One of these snapcasters is going for sure. Probably this will braid. We're gonna do this because we can they go like land worm coil engine. Alright. Uh, so at this point, I kind of just want to take the chromatic star and kind of make them draw off the top here for a little bit. So have you checked that out? The incubation uh, those turns. Picture in this deck. No, I've not. Yeah, I didn't think that hand is good. But like, it's so greedy taking this star. But I could just take Ulamog and try to set up where my Stubborn Denials... But the problem is they have the Forest, so I'm never going to be able to soft stub both of these. Yeah, I guess we're just going to take the star. Yeah, I just don't, I don't like keeping hands like... Oh, jeez. Got it. You got it. You got it, opponent. All right, we're going to submit. I really don't like keeping hands against Tron on the draw where I can't get underneath, like, an expedition map that don't have a threat because, like, I'm not going to be able to disrupt them from doing their thing. Opponent is too good at the game. Yeah, like, this hand's pretty good. We're going to keep this. It's a little slow, but it has a shadow, and it's got two stubborn denials, and it's got a cantrip, so if our opponent doesn't play into it, we can, like, we can wield this cantrip into here somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna let this go. Yield until next end step. We get watery grave. We will thought scour. All right, so there's a death shadow on two. So I'm gonna fetch before I do anything here. And I'm going to go get Blood Crypt and then just get Steam Vents with this. That's kind of nice. Okay. I was going to think about doing that in case my opponent got cute with like a uh, whatever it is, a whatever the dumb card is, uh, Walking Blist on two. But like I'm still in trouble to dismember here. Stub that. So now we attack for six. And we just hold stubborn denial. Um, we're going to go, if my opponent doesn't do anything here, then we're going to go Colagon's command, make them discard a card. We're going to let this go. So, they already have the tower, so if they got Tron, it would be the power plant, so they can't hit us with the stone. So we're just going to go return target creature. We're going to take this back. We're going to make them discard a card. This is just another look at Battle Rage. So, because, like, Battle Rage wins the game next turn. They can't, like... They can't do anything to us here when it comes to... They can't go, like, land uh, Oblivion Stone. <clears throat> Were they actually... They weren't actually dead. Were they? Did I, did I just, like, toss it, Teddy? This is 5 damage, 11... No, they're one off, right? Okay. Right? It's one off, because I can deal 5... 
which is 11, 2 to 12. Yeah. Sad. Um, do I want to fetch before I strike on my street raid? If my opponent hits the Tron land next turn, they've got three, five, seven, nine. So they can Ballista for five. They can Ballista for four, so I don't want to fetch. Okay. Well, now this doesn't play around. Actually, it still plays around Worm Coil Legend, because we just attack, and then we hit the Worm Coil that blocks our death shadow with the abrade and we got him so i think i think we've got everything here i think we've got like the checkmate here because we can counter you can't cast the ulamog we don't die to walking blista and we can counter spell and we can uh life total from worm coil engine the life gain all right nice hey phil Okay. I think we had him six ways to Sunday there because they couldn't cast Ulamog or they couldn't cast a Ballista big enough to kill us. Man, we're only an hour into the stream. We're already on match four. These modern leagues are nice. All right, I would like to play first. And I would like to mulligan. And I would like to keep. We got on top. We don't care about that one. So let's go get... I really don't want to get Steam Vents because Steam Vents just sucks. I should have played my Scalding Charm. For the world to know... All right, we don't want this. We do want nasty. My opponent plays like a hollow fountain. I'm going to hurl. Steam vents. So we're playing against Phoenix. We're playing against Storm. Our hand is not very good against Storm. Gonna be playing. I mean, I guess the. I don't know if the Phoenix decks play this card or not. That's the old storm giveaway. Yep, there's the brawl. Tim! Thank you very much, Tim. I appreciate the sub. It was very nice meeting you this weekend, Tim. You are the man. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. We can play a Gurmag Angler with a Lightning Bolt up next turn. Or we can just tap out Leaf Seer Visions in our graveyard, which I think I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to fetch here. Like, if my opponent kills me, they're going to kill me going away. It's not like it's going to be that close. Well, let me get a steam vents. So I could just play Gurmag Angler and leave Lightning Bolt up. I could play Gurmag Angler and leave Serum Visions in the graveyard. Or I could play Gurmag Angler and Death Shadow and have Bolt, Snap, Bolt. So I think we're going to just play both of these. And we're going to, you know, give it the good old... We hope this works out for us because we don't have shit. I mean, we could we could bolt a brawl here, but if my opponent goes like bear into go, then they, they you know good on him. Well, I mean he knew he Teddy knew once they played the brawl. Like it's not out of the realm of possibility that Storm played this card. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead.
<clears throat> grape shot my shadow and do remand like grape shot me another grape shot my shadow okay into an they have main deck empty okay all right All right. Main deck up to the ones. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered there. Like, I didn't really have any way to play around it. But, okay. So, we want the Surgicals and the Brutalities. Uh, Dismember is not really what we want. Snapcaster is kind of slow. You probably don't need all this removal. We could bring in the third surgical, but I want like just enough removal. But I could be down for cutting another Snapcaster Mage for a surgical extraction. Yeah, let's cut the Snapcaster Mage. Look like this. They're, they're, they're speeding up on the plant on after sideboard. They're like speeding up and slowing down. They're going for like a, a whatever it is kind of setup. An empty setup. Or they're trying to go long. So this hand here. I mean, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to cycle my Street Wraith on one because I would like to hit a discard spell. You know, you just don't you don't trim threats against the discard spell deck, Teddy. I don't think. Or against the combo deck, excuse me. Let's go here. Alright. So now we're gonna be able to get to cast Gurmag Angler. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right, Jay. Okay, so we're going to be able to play Angler. Okay. So let me look at my top card. What do I want to do here? I guess there's like no cute way to do this. It's like whether I want to Serum Visions this turn also, which I probably do. So let's see what they're doing. And then we Serum Visions. And I don't want either of these. Oh, I, I drew the discard spell. I'm. Oh, no, that's why I drew off of this. Okay. Well, now I kind of want both of these because I can go discard spell into Snapcaster Mage discard spell. Yeah, I'll put both of these on top. Two, three... We actually just go like snap discard on our turn, or we can go discard Seer Visions into Faithless Looting. So we can probably just go lead off on the discard spell and then um, and then figure out what the rest I'm doing there. What they do? They put on the bottom. Okay, so they don't have this. <clears throat> We could get like angler, or we could get uh, whatever like ritualed out here, which it appears like is going to happen. Okay. All right, so I'm going to attack. I actually could have. I could just battle rage here. Battle Rage, go get an island. Uh, we probably can. We probably can wait on that. Man, that's kind of. I kind of should have thought about that. Yeah, I should have thought about that more because I could. I could have just Battle Rage. I think I want to go like Serum Visions into Inquisition of Kozilek. This turn, 
They're going to deal five to me. The screen's like a little off, like it's got to come out a little bit. Is that what you're saying? I'm kind of down to just battle rage because it like it puts a lot of pressure on them. Because what are they gonna do? They're gonna kill me next turn. They're not gonna kill me through a discard spell with two cards. So I'm just gonna battle rage. And then go get, probably at this point, a Swamp. And hit them with a discard spell. What list should you play this weekend? I think you should play this one. The, the give or take, the one that I got on the screen here. It's not, the, 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 the stages are nice. So if they attack like this, there's the steam vents, here's the brawls. They have to tip block with both of these probably next turn. I find a land. So now I have to put all three in front. And now they just die. Okay. Both teams played hard. I don't know, you could have just blocked with your brawl and, you know. Giving yourself out. So I think I was pretty loose for my opponent. Because you don't need the Baral, really. Or just block with, like, enough tokens. Yeah, somebody in the chat mentioned that th this is just me being dumb right here. Um... I kind of want maybe, I don't know, I've got five pieces of removal, I have three pieces of removal and discard spells. I don't know if I want this last Snapcaster Mage or not. Because I might want another piece of removal in the draw just to be able to interact with a bear. And like the, the, these don't really interact that well with a bear. I wonder if I even want these. Like, are these too slow in the draw? Like, do I just go, like, another one of these? Command for Veil. Okay. Like, this is a little slow on the draw. Yeah, we're going to go with this. Oh, one more way to kill a bear. They don't play a map. They don't play Electromancer on their sideboard. Oh, gross. I mean, we're gonna keep this. We need. We need. To hit, we had a Black Swords. We're likely just off to the races. Okay. So we could just take this opt and leave them with mana. Which I kind of like doing. I think I'm going to. Take this opt, leave them with just mana. I could take like this ritual, a surgical ritual, but that seems kind of loose. 
If they ripped, like, empty the Warrens were in trouble, but, like, such is life. All right, God bless. All right, I'm just going to play a shadow. Not scour myself. Find some interaction. That is interaction. That is more interaction. I love interaction. Dude, I always have to turn to shadow. Oh, baby. I really want to take this pyretic ritual surgical the pyretic rituals and then stub this ritual i could also just take the grape shot and then stub the first ritual <laughs> but like that that's like I don't know, am I being greedy as this game goes longer, though? Yeah, I think we're just going to do it. That might be loose, though. Let's go see if we can find... All right, let me attack, and then we're going to draw step, surgical the ritual. Wait, don't take that line. All right, they hit a serum visions, so let's go... Here, 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 here. Let's see how they sideboarded. Let's take a picture. So they've got three brawls, an unsubstantiate, a past in flames. Three lightning bolts, a dismember, three empties. They have one more grape shot in their deck. Okay. So we know their hand is uh, this, this, Serum Visions. I think I'm countering the Serum Visions. And then just thought seizing the grape shot. And then just like calling it a day, I think. If this is three storm, they could just fire this off right now. Four storm put me to like not a lot, but and now you got one draw step. Like, I guess empty the warrens is pretty bad here for us. Didn't really think about that one. All right, nice. Unfortunately, we only got the three two there. <laughs> 